today I am here with my most anticipated releases for August 2019. I picked a total of five books which I tried to make the not so popular books because nobody wants to hear about the same five books on every single channel. So without further ado, let us get started. So the first book that I have, I actually have a physical arc of it, which I am super excited about, but it is Turn of the Key by Ruth Ware. And this comes out August 6, 2019. After lying about her qualifications to become a live-in nanny, Rowan K never expected to find herself in jail for the murder of one of the children. She insists that she is innocent, but that means that some Somebody else is not, so she needs to figure out who that is. Lala from Books and Lala gave this book a 5 out of 5 stars. She said it was really, 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 really good, so I had it on my shelf and I never actually like really read the synopsis of it and then I saw her video and I was like, oh my god, that actually sounds amazing, so I need to read it. So now this is happening, it's gonna be read, hopefully I like it as much as Lala, but We'll see, I guess. The next book that I have is called The Whisper Man, and this is by Alex North. This is to be released August 20th, 2019, and this follows a man named Tom Kennedy, who, after the death of his wife, moves himself and his son, Jack, to the small town of Featherbank. This town has a past. 20 years ago, there was a serial killer on the loose that they called the Whisper Man because he would lure his victims out of their houses by whispering to them through the window. After Frank Carter was arrested, the town has been very peaceful until one night a young boy disappears resembling the crimes of the Whisper Man, which sparks the rumor that the Whisper Man was actually working with an accomplice. Detectives are on the the case and Tom thinks everything will be fine until one night Jake hears whispers outside of his window. I just think that this sounds really creepy. I love serial killer books. I don't know why. I find them so fascinating but I'm into it. Stabby stabby murder murder so I'm really hoping that somebody gets stabbed, stabbed, murder, murdered in this book as long as it's not Jake because he's a child and I don't want children to die but Tom can die though. The next book that I have is called Ever Alice and this is by H.J. Ramsey and this is to be released August 1st 2019. This is an Alice in Wonderland retelling where her adventures in Wonderland landed her in the asylum and she is wanting to escape. She agrees to an experimental procedure which will help her along to get released and minutes before the procedure is about to happen she decides that she does not want to go through that anymore and she escapes to Wonderland with the White Rabbit and she enters the Red Queen's court and then she is told that she needs to eliminate the Red Queen and it's like the story of that but your girl is a sucker for fairy tale retelling. The only other Alice in Wonderland retelling that I've read is Heartless by Marissa Meyer so I'm kind of intrigued to read from Alice's perspective instead of the Red Queen, Queen of Hearts perspective this time around so really excited for this one. The next book that I have is another that I have a physical copy of and it is here there are monsters. This is by a Melinda Barube. I'm probably saying that wrong. I'm sorry. It's like a French name. I can't do it. But this is also to be released August 1st, 2019. This follows 16-year-old Skye who moves to a small town with her younger sister Deidre. She is able to fit in seamlessly, but Deidre has a bit of a more difficult time. She starts to withdraw from people and she becomes obsessed with the swampy woods outside their house. She spends most of her time building these strange sculptures out of mud and twigs. Then Deidre disappears one night and Skye is visited by a monster outside of her window who tells her that she's the only person able to save Deidre before it's too late. And it's basically the story of that. But I was initially drawn to this book because I think that the cover is gorgeous. I just love it so much. But I'm actually really intrigued with the story as well. I think that it sounds really interesting. I really like sister books, so I'm hoping that it's a really good one, but I guess we will see when I pick this one up. The next book that I have is my one romance, non-thriller, stabby stabby murder murder book. I always like to pick one so that there's a little bit of a variety on my list, but the one that I chose this time around is Say You Still Love Me by K.A. Tucker, and this is to be released August 6th, 20 
2019. So this book follows Piper Calloway, who is a 29-year-old VP of her father's multi-billionaire company. She knows that she is an asset, but she feels that she is underappreciated because she is a female. To make matters worse, she constantly needs to deal with her ex-fiancé, who is also a VP of the company. That's when a new security guard named Kyle Miller is hired, and he just so happens to be her summertime crush from many years ago when they were camp counselors together. Kyle claims not to remember her, but Piper is not convinced that this is true, and she believes that he still might have feelings for her, so she decides that she is going to put these feelings to the test, and it's basically the story of that. But my guess is a typical K.A. Tucker book, which is usually enemies to lovers or friends to lovers, so I am so here for it because those are two of my favorite tropes, so hoping that this is a good one as well. Alright guys, so that was my most anticipated releases for August 2019. Let me know down below if any of these interest you, if you've read any of these, or what books you are excited about for August, and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!